Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna start this reading with some sound healing so you can uh, be ready for the reading, relax. And then we're gonna choose a pile. Well, I hope you're ready and relaxed enough. So today's reading is gonna be about what you need to know, what's really coming soon and you should be aware of or it will give you some hint or hope, whatever it is, whatever you need to know uh, during this reading. Some people are impatient, but that's also a lesson for you to be more patient. <laughs> so, let's see. Let's do three decks today. Uh, deck number one. Uh, deck number two. Deck number three. So choose your pile. I hope you can see, guys. One, two, or three. Okay. Well, I'm sure you're ready and let's start with deck number one. Hello pile one, whoever chose this deck. Let's see what you need to know, what information needs to come out for you. Pile one, you don't know many things or many events that's about to happen in your life. And you sit there like that and worrying, scared of either nothing going on or what if it's not going to happen? What if this person doesn't love me? What if this person would never um, contact me again? Or what if we, if we would never come back together? Or what if I'm not gonna meet this person? Or what if I'm never gonna find a job I want? What if I'm never gonna be healthy enough? All different kind of thoughts going on, scary thoughts, but they are just illusions. This is not the actual truth. This is not what's really going on in your life. This is all your fears because you don't know. And look, the candle even like uh, shaking. <laughs> because you don't know, you're scared. But that's the actual beauty of not knowing enough information because if we already knew what about to happen, we would be bored. That's the mystery behind your future. Yes, many things you're unsure about, many things are um, unrevealed. You don't know how to feel about this, about your life, about your situation, about people around you, you don't know. But what the universe wants to tell you right now is, whatever it is, <laughs> you get into the Ten of Pentacles. You will find a way or 
things will somehow, some reason, will appear how they should be. And it's not even up to you anymore. It's like it's happening and that's all. <laughs> exactly. Um, between what's going on now and what's about to happen, it's a completely different energy. But the thing is, some, this uh, people here go two categories, like two ways we can go, right? Because many people are watching. Some people will fear until they actually get the reward, until they actually get the call or get the job or get the results. They will be very, very scared, worried and uh, obsessed with the idea. But those who believe and trust the universe will uh, not just will get the news or events go, going their way faster, they will also be more calm with their energy. So it's up to you. Do you want to worry about something until it actually happens? Until the actual uh, situation will be resolved? Or you can act, trust the universe and say, you know what? I choose to relax, release and trust and just be calm until it's happening. Like this candle right now, very calm. Uh, so there are two... Um, categories of people here watching me those who will until the end will worry and others who will burden themselves until the end because they either used to being like that like worrying a lot stressing a lot or they don't trust the universe enough yet because they're sitting like that in their comfort zone and say you know what I rather you know close off um, in case if things will go wrong, I would say I already knew nothing good is happening. But others who actually know what they want and how things will appear, they know things will be better. They know things will be resolved and they get the Ace of Cups. Complete fulfillment, emotional mm, peace, abundance. Yes, and um, the idea of not just sit there and wait, but actually creating something, moving forward, achieving things, um, being active. And yes, if some are sick right now or don't feel well, you can take your time, but after that, you will start being very active. You're going away from those fears, from this anxiety that you in. What did you do here, pile number one? What are you waiting on or who are you waiting on? But here you not at ease. If everything is great with you right now, this is not your pile. Here people are really stressed about something. Let's see what else you should know. Hmm. For those who are worried about finances, job related, career, what to choose, where to go, how to make, where to be, uh, all those thoughts that you have right now they are nothing in front of what will actually happen to you or what rewards you would actually get you're looking at small things there are many small little opportunities that in your mind but in reality in reality you you will be so successful like in a way that you didn't imagine i'm not saying about you know being a millionaire even though it's possible because everything is possible but here 
those options there you know leave them behind don't overthink about them or ideas that you have in your head right now there they don't make sense you will have other bigger uh, things to deal with bigger accomplishments and you'll be fine you'll find your way you'll find your path your journey here and this journey is nothing that right now in your mind i hear it's it's not that it doesn't mean you have to leave everything behind i'm just saying this is not your ending point or this is not something to worry that much about don't worry about that that much it doesn't worth it there's something much more worth here than you can imagine exactly wow Pile number one, very strong position here. It's like you're fighting with your own fears or you're fighting with your fate. Like, you know intuitively that wherever you are right now, that's not where you should be. Or whoever you're with right now, if you in toxic connections, relationships, partnerships, you understand this is not for you. You understand that you should move forward. You should continue going. Um, or the situation that you're in, you are bigger than that. You, you don't deserve even to be here or to worry about this or to deal with it. I'm not saying the person or people around you are bad or they don't worth you or stuff like that, even though it could be. I'm saying that the, the actual situation doesn't worth it here. You're fighting for something that you shouldn't fight for. But you'll get over it. You'll get over it. You, um, one at one moment you will realize your power. And your power is in your intuition here. It's like you try to manipulate through things before try to fix something to maybe prove your point uh, prove to someone that you're right and then you fighting uh, you you going within yourself uh, maybe going into the hermit mode even and realizing your intuition is telling you don't fight something that is not even worth it don't try to fix something that's like not up to you even trust the universe trust that this situation you put too much weight on it and if you look from from afar from another angle you see that the situation is not as bad or the fight you got in is not that bad and can be fixed or if you feel that you lost someone or you lose in a relationship the partnership that's not the end of it this is this is just a pause <laughs> because yeah because you're tired it's just the feeling that you lost something or to someone is just because you're very tired energetically you were fighting a lot yes you were fighting a lot somebody could have betrayed you or you know left you behind or did something wrong and you hurt you could be hurt but it's not the end of the world. You just very tired and you need your your break. You need to take care of yourself more right now. Of your health especially. You might even get sick from it, from uh, something went wrong, too much energy were uh, released on unnecessary things. And now you could be 
on your own trying just to relax release um, and recharge your energies and uh, while you're doing that or will do it in the in, in future you wouldn't even realize that other people they're watching you they watching you and they um, surprised of your strength here they're surprised that you have the strength to still take care of yourself to move forward they impressed by you some people you don't even notice they're very impressed by you that you don't give up and you're doing exactly what you need to do don't give up just know that things will get better and better every day and you won't need anymore to be in a situation where you not even belong you wouldn't need to deal with people that uh, are rats i want to say even uh, that talking behind your back or doing something that somehow to put you in, in a bad light but you you know that you've been already hurt enough to understand that um, it's not worth it to to you know worry too much take care of your health of your um, of releasing your stress of uh, releasing the situation and start over and you will you will start over because you are a very strong individual who just got tired for some time and needs a rest that's all this is just a temporary weakness of yours could be uh, stress all of that is temporary weakness but you'll pick up yourself eventually you'll cut off everything that's not necessary yes and you'll move forward to you know search for your dreams to achieve what you always wanted you're going for the stars and you'll get there yes they could be far but you already been through so much you already more than a half way there so understand that and take your break and start over that's what you needed to know pile one wow very beautiful and deep reading here take your rest guys i hope you feel better energetically physically emotionally however it is <coughs> And I'm going for pile number two. Hello, pile two. Whoever chose this uh, deck, let's see. What information you need to know or hear right now? What's important currently? Mm -hmm. You're waiting on something, pile number two. You are in a waiting mode. Mm -hmm. Could be return of a person, of a certain situation. For many, it's love situation, but doesn't have to be. Maybe you're just waiting for... Uh, certain inspiration to do something new ideas you searching for a new job could be but you waiting on something it's like you already put some effort or you uh, you put your mind in there and you were waiting until this wheel of fortune will you know come to you and you feel you deserved it you feel that um, this is your path you uh, deserve to to win to have what you want because in the past it could be that you lost a lot of things you could have literally lose a person here family member uh, or you lost yourself at certain point of time uh, your um, you could have lost your confidence Maybe somebody betrayed you, left you behind here. Some people were divorced here. Many uh, situations could happen and it's like now you're waiting for the reward after all that you've been through. 
Maybe you lost a business, lost a, even some people lost a baby here. And you're waiting for your reward and you feel that this is this is fair. What else? What you need to know? You just told me the story. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. While you're waiting for your rewards, try not to be into negative energies, into um, energies of, you know, still living through your past in your mind. Try to enjoy life however it is. Maybe with your friends, with your relatives, with your family, whoever you have, with your pets, whatever it is, with yourself. Because some people would say, I don't have anyone, but you have yourself. And this is the most precious thing that you have, yourself. Nature is around you. You can always enjoy nature. Yeah, some people are overworking here and uh, what you need to know right now, you need a break. You need a break. Uh, what, whatever you want, you planning on, you wishing for is coming your way, but it's coming a little bit slow. It's like slow down, slows down and you're not sure if it will ever come. Sometimes you have negative thoughts. Even though you know you deserved it, sometimes you're not sure. You're not sure if that will happen. But it will. Because you manifested or currently manifesting it in your life. And even though it's taking a long time, the longer it takes, the better the outcome will be. And if you were looking for soulmate, love, divine partner and manifested them, it, they're, they're coming your way. Yes, you may have been waited for long, but they're coming also for a long time. They're coming to be your best friend, best partner, divine partner. Someone who um, will be with you could be for many um, till the rest of your life. Yes, so your dream is currently manifested into reality, but it's taking more than maybe you expected. Yeah. I wanted to ask when, but again, Knight of Pentacles is the slowest card in the deck. It doesn't mean it's going to take years, but um, Six of Pentacles, it's like, um, for example, it's six is like half of the year, right? So let's say <coughs> it depends where you at. When have you started of waiting or manifesting your person? How much time passed since then? Count that time approximately and add another part, like same amount of time approximately to that and you'll understand when it's happening. For example, if you waited for love for uh, since your last relationship or since you realized what you really want or who you want, maybe you're waiting for a person to return since that point when you started how much time passed if it was six months that means another six months but within that time don't you know a uh, time is you know you shouldn't rely on much on timing because energies constantly change what else you need to know file number two Yes, two of chalices. Love is coming your way after some... And it's not just coming your way. <coughs> some disaster did happen to you in the past. Um, it's coming unexpectedly. It's like, it's, um, you know... It's 
it's like a flying uh, comet from the universe suddenly fell, you know, on Earth. You know, that unexpected crazy event, that same thing is here. Suddenly, either the person will appear or reappear over. But you wouldn't expect at that current moment, yes, yeah, somebody will, it's like here, somebody's knocking the door. Well, you already in your comfort zone, but you don't know to trust it or not because you either didn't expect it so soon or you waited too long that you already didn't believe in it, but it's coming. If it's about job, war could also be with the tower. That means either you will have new partnerships, new um, job offers, new careers could be, new businesses, business opportunities, something materialistic here too could happen. Those who wanted family business could also have an opportunity to do that. Here a very good outcome, guys. Coming your way. Yes, you waiting. Yes, you been through a lot, but things will reappear better than you think. Finally, what else? Yes, it's like you starting your life from the scratch, and that's when your wagon, barrel wagon, will start moving. Movement will finally happen. Yes, after this waiting mode that you waited, suddenly Ace of Pentacles, luck is coming your way. So don't worry, you're not just waiting. But it's always good to release the waiting uh, mode. Why? Because when you wait and think about it a lot, we actually postpone uh, and we, you know, stop the energy from flowing through. So release it, release, accept, and just trust. Trust that you're not just waiting, but meanwhile, you're doing your own thing while you're waiting. You don't need to stop all your life because you're waiting. For whatever you're waiting on, doesn't matter. Somebody could not able to get pregnant for a long time and they don't know what to do, but you will have kids if you really want them. Don't worry. Thank you, pile number two. And I'm going for pile number three. Hello, pile three. Uh, rarely I only work with this pile without other piles. Because this is dark terror. It's okay with me, but I felt <laughs> whoever chose this pile didn't choose it, choose it for without a reason. Let's see what you need to know right now. What you need to know. Don't be afraid. This is just tarot deck. Okay. <coughs> hmm. Of course, here mostly love story going on, but we'll see more. We'll see more after that. Well, I want to say someone is in love with you, really thinking about you a lot, memorizing events that you've been through together, even if it's short period of time. You could also be in love, but I see both parties and in the same energy, so you and your partner. If you're in a pause right now, or something happened, you got into a situation, you do, cannot see each other right now, whatever's going on, however you feel, your partner feels the same. If you feel stressed, depressed about it, if you feel sadness, your partner feels the same. I see I feel energies from both sides and you constantly thinking about one another, thinking, thinking, thinking. When you don't think, they start thinking. When they about to stop thinking, you start thinking, which makes them think. So it's a very, uh, you know, strong connection here. 
uh, energetically, mentally. Mental. Uh, mentally, you're feeling one another. And it doesn't matter how far you are from one another, how close you are, what your circumstances. So you're not the only one who's struggling or worrying or missing the other. Both parties, and you can feel it. If you don't feel it, this is not your pile. Um, this pile is for those who actually know it happens. They know they can feel with each other through dreams, through um, some signs that you see on the streets or somewhere else through tarot readings, I don't know, <laughs> you know that. And yes, you could be very, very different with this person, but you teaching one another, yes. But at the same time, you either constantly fighting for your property, metaphorically speaking, um, you fighting for, you know, your rights, what, how you want the relationship to be maybe, what you like, what you don't like here. But energetically, you are bound together. You are, you, if you right now in a pause of separation, energetically, you never left one another. Your mind didn't leave one another. Even though some people left here or separated or in a pause. Yes. And you showing one another then you are that you are fine without each other. You showing indifference, you showing that you controlling your situation, controlling yourself, but deep down you both in the five of pentacles. You both not happy about what's going on. This is for those about love. I wanna ask um, will this person somehow show up or let you know? <coughs> sorry guys definitely will show up but how they will show up still trying to prove that they're right <laughs> so they will show up or could show up but this will be a continuation of the story so this is not over if you thought this is the end if you thought this is um, ending of connection not at all not at all okay now let's look at those who are not looking for love or not related to love or maybe you are but you have something else the universe or wants to tell you or you need to know currently pile number three okay you have people you have people that are not happy with you around you gossiping about you not happy about your decisions, about how you live your life. Uh, they're not happy about that you are different, that you don't give up. Uh, even when you upset or you looks like you lost or they made the situation to make you look bad, you still look good. And it bothers them even more because you kind of finding the... Um, solution to any situation here jealousy I sense jealousy a lot of jealousy going wow that's why you chose this pile pile number three I mean this uh, yeah deck dark tarot deck that's why because here the universe want to talk to you about your enemies and they don't have to be actual enemies that you know they, them or you should fight with them. No, it's just people around you that are very jealous of your life. And regardless of in what situation you are, even if you doing worse than them, they still jealous. Because your energies are so attractive. You seem not, you know, giving up never. 
you attract many other people in your life you have many admirers could be you are the star regardless of your uh, life situation you are the star and they are not or not enough maybe they um you know following your relationship like maybe they're keeping an eye on you who are you dating what are you doing in life if you have a family how things are going there are they very curious but because their curiosity is so big they this um, anger I want to say stress and jealousy overwhelming them into making some stupid decisions when it comes to you gossiping about you uh, making up things that are not true exaggerating wow what else you need to know pile number three hmm. you are strong enough to you know take care of yourself you are strong and you shouldn't worry you would uh, be in this war if there is a war you would um, stand your ground and all those things that going on out, going out around you are not as important because you are in power here you are in power you're actually so powerful that um, They cannot get too close to you. The only thing they can do is talk behind your back. Yes, they may hurt you with words, with situations, but you, you'll be fine. Yes, uh, I want to say if they, you know, messing up with you, they're playing with the devil. And look at my uh, candle just lit up to show you this devil in this deck. And in this deck, the devil is very ugly <laughs> and scary, but don't be scared. Um, here, sometimes I say, um, so you will understand better. Even the devil is on your side here. And when they doing something wrong, those people, if you feel, this is your pile, of course, guys, not everyone gonna resonate with it. But if you really feel it, and events are happening or will happen soon know that even the devil is on your side so whenever they try to hurt you or talk behind your back eventually they end up being wrong or end up looking bad not you wow I'm proud of you, pile number three. And you, you just moving forward. You don't stay um, in a situation for long, in any situation. You know how to move forward and not to be stuck in certain energies. It's like you um, see the situation is wrong. You see what's going on. Maybe you say something or you do something and then you move forward. You don't stay in those energies for long. Because you are the warrior. You are a fighter. You have no time for those uh, low energy vibes. Yes, right now I see you more uh, involved in love, manifesting love. Uh, and you'll get what you want. You'll get your abundance and love if you're waiting on. Um, you will get what you want. If you want to be with someone, you'll be with this person. Or the person that's going to be a great match for you. Okay? Thank you very much, pile number three. I hope it gave you some insight. If you feel this is didn't really resonate some part, don't put it on yourself. But for those who did, you know who you are. You know exactly why you watched this pile. 
Okay, an Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Thank you guys. I love you all and I'll see you in my other videos. Bye-bye.